Hey everybody, the footage you're about to watch is not anything that was filmed by me. This is some footage that was filmed by Bob over at the YouTube channel Tech Gorilla. He is one of the guys who participated in helping move the shaper, which is what this video is about. So I'm sure if you're watching this, you, you probably know about that. But, you know, I, I purchased a, a shaper up near York, Pennsylvania. That was, uh, I was given the lead by Kevin Pangle, you know, he's been a long time viewer of mine. And Kevin, he showed me some pictures of it. And I kind of decided that after seeing the pictures and him actually going over there running the shaper, I'm like, that, that's a pretty nice machine. So it's something that I wanted to acquire for the shop here. So I decided to buy it. And it was, it was pretty much based on Kevin's willingness to, uh, he volunteered without me asking. He says, if you want to buy the shaper, he says, I'll go over there and I'll get it moved out. You know, you'll just have to find somebody to uh, to come and pick it up or pick it up yourself, whatever. So I decided to go ahead and and, uh, and buy it. And then my other uh, viewer there, Fred Newman, which has been in another video, he came down and bought the drill press. You know, I talked to him about it and ended up, he had to come down this way anyway for some other business. So he said, whenever you're ready, let me know and I'll go by there and I'll pick the shaper up, bring it to you you know and uh, everybody's happy so I asked for some voluntary help up there in uh, in York and I wasn't let down man I mean I had a lot of people offered to come and help move this machine so there ended up being about 10 guys that came and I just want to thank everybody that volunteered you know uh, there was a lot of people that emailed and said hey you know I'm a couple hours away but I'll go and help so after there was about 12 guys or so lined up that was definitely going, I was just telling everybody, like, hey, I think there's going to be a lot of help there already. So, you know, if you want to go, that's great, but you don't have to. So there was about 10 guys that came and helped Kevin, and I, and I talked to Kevin about everything that day, and he was telling me how um, the, the whole group was just fantastic. Everybody came there and had a great attitude. He says everybody just chipped right in. And they were able to get this shaper moved from its sitting position over to the door in about an hour and a half. I think they started somewhere around 7 o'clock in the morning. And he says by 8.30 that, that, sh that shaper was sitting over by the door where it's got to be loaded up uh, with the forklift there. So unbelievable. You know, I was shocked whenever I seen that picture because we were expecting this to maybe take a couple days, maybe even a following weekend to get it because... There was so much stuff that had to be moved out of the way, which is uh, some of this is in the video. Guys chipped in and everybody just started moving stuff out of the way. And they came in and uh, one of the guys that came, his name is Terry. He's a retired millwright. He had a forklift jack and he brought that jack there and they were able to use that to uh, quickly and easily and safely pick the shaper up enough to get the bars underneath it. And then they were all on it and got it moved around. So. It's just a unbelievable thing that uh, I had so many guys offer to want to go and help. This is just really neat. So I'm very thankful of all the help that I got. All all you guys that came and and what and helped move the shaper. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And Bob is going to go over there, and probably whenever you're seeing this is going to be the weekend that it's being picked up. But Bob said he's going to go and get some footage of the shaper being picked up and loaded onto the trailer so we'll have kind of like video documentation of this whole thing you know once it gets here i'm going to get some video of it uh just just as well so uh bob thank you very much for the videos and the pictures and i have edited a video together for you guys to watch and hopefully you enjoy and share the journey of this 32 inch gne shaper I do want to point out that there's probably going to be a lot of questions and a lot of interest in other things in this shop for sale. Uh, Kevin said that, you know, to, to make sure that you guys know that it's not necessarily a, a situation where everything's in there for sale right now. There's some things that was for sale, some of these machines, but the owners of the property and the shop are not there right now. They, they're retired and they're away. They're out of state. and. The, uh, the daughter of the owners is the one that was helping with the shaper you know sale they already had a price on it so she knew what to sell it for so that's why she agreed to go ahead and do this so uh, maybe at a later time uh, Kevin may get with me and let me know if some of this other stuff is actually going to start going up for sale 
and maybe they're going to be looking for some buyers. But as of, as of right now, I'll know. I just want everybody to be aware of that. So there is a little bit of video towards the end where Bob was kind of walking around, doing a walkabout, and seeing all the, all the cool stuff in this shop. So anyway, thanks again, everybody, and I hope you enjoy the video, okay? What's he looking for? Uh, there's an attachment. Oh, oh, come on. This way, come on. Yep. Ready? Oh, Yeah, it's live. I have a meter over here, over here too. Okay. So we're gonna have to find we're gonna have to find a breaker because she's still gonna be live to the top of the disco. Most certainly. Uh, where is the breaker panels in this joint? Yeah, that's true. Finally, sixty-year-old chip. Oh, here we go. And then imagine being that, that being ejected from your knee with surgery.
I just keep moving around. Like I told the other guy, editing is like the grinding of welding. Yeah. You yeah. just edit all the shit out you don't want. <laughs> I know that's what we learn. We shoot daily vlogs. Pile the stuff on, man. Just pile yeah. it on and just grind it off till it's pretty. And the nice part about it is I'm gonna let Adam edit it all. Yeah, I'm not editing. It. It. <laughs> that's yeah, Adam, where are you gonna put this? It's it's put it back with the. Where the um, glass cabinet is. He's taking the, the old shaker out. The... No, oh, the old side. The that whole back corner is going to get taken out. Yeah. Wow. I just hope he gets that friggin' contract in there to do him right. I haven't. I haven't watched recently. Has he got? He, he had some kind, some contractor that just really screwed him over. Yeah. Did half-ass work and then just never showed up. Oh, really? Yeah, he's going through trials and tribulations with that. Yeah. Uh, well, Par on it. I'm glad you all let me take video on him. Okay, okay. Okay. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's true. Piece of cake. Well, I mean. It's just like a, an archive. Where you going now? Oh, okay. Still? You still? No, most of it was 
just cutting this in the ranch the software. Oh. Oh. Well, it was a bracket that Adam said was on the machine, but she was just cutting the bracket. I'm going to walk upstairs now, see what's up there. Sorry for the darkness, dark shop. Holy hell, that's a grinding wheel, buddy. My heavens. Which one? This one right here. You didn't see the big one downstairs. No, apparently not. There's one downstairs, it's like four inches. You didn't even see the microscope. Yeah. That might be good for some soldering work. I always think electronics. Bunch of metrology equipment. Mm. Yeah, man. You guys put this exactly. in the back of my. Uh, <laughs> you put this in the back of my Lexus yeah, up front no, there. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Better okay. Titan. <laughs> Certified casting. Come back here and look at this. You want to see some shit? Look at that. Oh my. <laughs> Wires stabbed in a plug. Oh my. For an operating piece of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I touched that. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I touched that. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I touched that. Yeah, right? <laughs> 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 <laughs
Uh, I'd love to have this. It's smooth too. I just I ran my finger over there. Yeah, I was surprised about that machine down there. It's got still got way oil. Oh, nice scraping on it too. I mean, he took Beautiful care of his stuff. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, I could definitely use it.